Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make a candle today. We're gonna make some lavender candles. So here we have a big old bag of soy flakes. This is for candles and it's in pastilles. A pound of this, and we're gonna weigh it on our scale right here. As you can see, I have my scale set up over here. You wanna make sure that you tear it. So just scoop your pound of flakes into your container. Ready? You're gonna take your pound of flakes and you're gonna pour it into you're gonna pour it into your uh, heatable container. You're gonna put it on the stove, or you can melt it in a slow cooker or a wax melter. And you're gonna get it up to 185 degrees. You can... Okay, so while your wax is heating up, you want to get your tins ready. Now I don't have any fancy uh, wick holders or uh, sticky bottoms, but you can get them for pretty cheap. A uh, hundred of them for ten bucks on Amazon. Plus the put, they'll hold your wick straight. And you got to make sure the wick is the right size for your tin. Two rubber bands and um, held the wick up straight. And what I'm going to do is going to take some hot glue. I'm going to glue the bottom of my wick right there. Okay. And then we're just going to stick it into the bottom of the tin. Okay. So I have my wax at 185 degrees. It needs to be strained because there's going to be little bits and pieces in there. Um, but I'm going to strain it with a strainer. But I'm using this scent today, lavender candle and soap from Brambleberry. And for one pound, I'm going to be using one full ounce, which is quite a lot. Next, I'm going to add some colorant. I'm going to use some mica powder. This is iridescent violet mica from workshop heritage i got this on etsy these guys are great they made my slicer i'm also going to use a little nurture soap mardi gras enviro glitter okay i'm just going to use a little i'm going to eyeball it i'm just going to put a little bit in this stuff is pretty potent so i i guess i used about a teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a half four pound and i mixed it in look how pretty that is and so now it smells incredible and now we have to wait for it to get down to 135 degrees. Okay, so it's 135 degrees and it is time to pour it. Now you don't want to pour it too hot or too cold because it will mess up the way your candle looks. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour my candles. Now the rubber bands do make it a little tricky because um, it's not really flat underneath, so those little candle wick holders are, are worth it. They just cost a few cents each. Um, mine are on the way, and it'll be a few days, and I want to make these now. So Now, as you can see, it doesn't go all the way to the top, but it's close. They're very pretty. This mica, this is high-quality mica. Big difference. You can get um, mica on Amazon in a set, but let me tell you, it doesn't look like this. And you got to use... A lot more of it even though it's cheaper so now it's hurry up and wait we have to let them sit overnight eight hours at least okay and then uh, in the morning they'll be ready and then we're going to trim the wick down to about there and make our labels and these will be worth about ten dollars a piece nine ten dollars a piece Good. What a cool little bit. 
a sweet orange and some orange 10 times fold. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please hit subscribe and like and find me over at Facebook at Three Birds Soap.